So now it's your turn. So here I've got three extracts from a diary. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and I want you to read each of the extracts and I want you to underline where the date is in each extract. Can you do that for me now, please? Welcome back. How did you get on with that? Did you find them or did you find that a little bit tricky? OK, so on the first one, we have during the night. So it says, dear diary, what an awful sleep. During the night, I was awoken by a strange streaking outside of my bedroom window. I was too scared to leave my bed, but the noise kept coming and seemed to be getting closer. The date time there is during the night. That's when we know that that happened. Now, the next one it tells us the date in that right hand corner. Do you see it there? 13th of February 2010. So we know that that's the time and that's the date that that was written. Today has been the worst day in history, the worst days. First, I got splashed by a car when it drove through a puddle. Stupid driver. Then when I arrived at school, I realised I forgot my lunch. Why me? Can you see there how the reader has put in their thoughts and their feelings? And they've written it in very informal style. Now, the last one there, dear diary, at 7 a.m. this morning. That's very specific, isn't it? Now, that key bit of information there, we know it happened at seven o'clock in the morning on this particular day. Dad woke me up with an almighty clash when he fell down the stairs. I think it was over my trainers that I left on top of the landing. Whoops. <laughs> OK, so when we're writing our diaries, we must remember to write it in the first person. Remember, it's your diary. You are writing it. It's all about you. So we need to include the pronouns such as I, my, we, our. So, for example, I went out today. My dog came with me. We had a great time making sure we're using those programs there. These words are special because they tell us that the diary is being written by someone that they're talking about themselves. Now, have a look at these two examples. Which one uses the correct words uh, to be written in a first person? OK. So the first person pronouns that we have here, they refer to the speaker or the writer, singular, or to the group that includes the speaker or writer. So they replace the noun. So we could have I, me, my, mine, we, ours, our, us. Think about, could you think now actually, by pausing the video and think about a sentence to include two of those pronouns. Pause the video here and have a go at that now. How did you get on with that? OK, let's move on. So here we go. I'm going to model one to you now and then you're going to have a go in a little bit. As I look down from our lofty home, I notice a group of humans. They seem to be holding loud, bright monsters with sharp, glistening teeth. They were tearing our trees from the ground. Oh. Now I've got another one for you. As she looked down from their lofty home, she noticed a group of humans. They seemed to be holding loud, bright monsters with sharp, glistening teeth that were tearing their trees from the ground. Yeah. OK, let me show you here. In the first one, we have as I look down from our, that means the place where they lived. It belongs to us. I noticed a group of humans. They seem to be holding loud, bright monsters with sharp, glistening teeth that were tearing our, the trees that belong to the writer and their family, trees from the ground. Now, this is written in um, using she, OK? As she looked down from their lofty home, she noticed a group of humans. They seem to be holding loud, bright monsters with sharp, glistening teeth that were tearing their trees from the ground. OK, the first one is written in first person 
And the second one is not in the first person. It's talking about somebody else. And that's not how we're going to write our diary. We are going to make sure that we're keeping it in first person. OK, you are now going to look through this piece of text and you are going to identify the first person pronouns. OK, so remember that they replace the nouns, the names of people and uh, the person or the people that are in there. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through with your pencil and highlight the per first person pronouns. Pause the video here and then we're going to continue um, on the next video.